In this lesson, we'll cover the correction of errors, but this time we'll have a look at the errors that do affect the trial balance. They are single entry error, addition error, and error in completing the double entry. Now, the specific objectives for this lesson is to explain errors which do affect the trial balance and to prepare and post journal entries for correction of errors. Before we look at the three errors, let's have a look at an example. We have our trial balance at 31 December 2018, but as you can see, our trial balance does not balance. Why? Because the debit and credit side are not equal. The credit side is $200 more than the debit side. Now what do we do in this case? We need to adjust our trial balance and we will add a suspense account. So a suspense account needs to be added and the amount will be $200 million. And once we add that, our trial balance will balance. Now our debit and credit side are equal. Now you might ask, what is a suspense account? Well, a suspense account is a temporary account and it's where you will have an unexplained difference. So if the totals of the trial balance has a difference, then you will need to open a suspense account for that difference. Now let's have a look at how we will record this in the ledger. Well, since we needed to debit our suspense account, we will also debit our suspense account in the ledger. And the entry is on the debit side because the difference was on the debit side of the trial balance. The trial balance had $200 million less on the debit side and that's why we posted the $200 difference on the debit side in our ledger. And since the suspense account is only a temporary account, that means it's not a permanent account. So when the error is detected and corrected, the suspense account's balance will return to zero. Let's have a look at our corrected trial balance from the previous example. We had a suspense account with a value of $200 million and that made our trial balance balance. Now let's have a look at the information on the right hand side. There is the $200 representing the difference as per our trial balance and we have a balance of $400 for sales. Now in order to correct the error we debited sales with $200 and then we credited our suspense account also with $200 in order to return the balance of the suspense account to zero. So we debited sales and then we credited the suspense account. After doing that, the balance for our sales changed because 400 less 200 will be $200 million. So therefore we need to change our balance of our sales account from $400 to $200 and since we have credited our suspense account, our suspense account will return to zero. And then we have a new total for our trial balance of $1,000. let us have a look at our first error. 